And then the final structure that I believe works really well uh, to help us engage with our people is around what we call a standardized working system. And I think it's more than a tool. It's a system and a structure for capturing knowledge. It captures experience and past countermeasures and improvements that we've put in place and building them back into the process memory the memory of the business, you know, so that it's not in somebody's heads of one or two individuals or process experts. It exists in the company, which means we can transfer that knowledge to anybody continually. And there's a number of different features that we need to have in the standardized working system. We need to understand, is it observable, repeatable, measurable, controllable, improvable, and therefore, is it trainable? And how do we train it? You know, is it process focused? Is it really breaking the process down in such a way as we can understand if we follow this pattern, it will actually produce the results that we want? Are we capturing it in such a way as we understand the, you know, the what that we're doing, the why that we're doing it, and the how, you know, the, the, whether it's in, um, in graphics or in diagrams or some sort of way in which we can explain to people how to actually carry out this work, but also why it's important. Uh, the job instruction framework is part of that standardized working system. This idea about how we teach people how to do the standard, about preparing them for to be able to do it, about presenting the operation and showing them how to do it maybe once, and then letting them try it out and asking questions so that we can evaluate their knowledge and their maturity of the process, and then following up, you know, getting them to ask questions of us and us following up with questions. And really, when you think about it, Standardized work, we know about this idea that it's a part of driving continuous improvement, but it captures the knowledge and experience into the process memory. It doesn't lie in the heads of one or two people. It stays in the business and the process. So these...